Hey everyone, Sub Ed here. Welcome again to Mastic Radio Control Submarine Base, where today we're down in the backyard boat basin. Um, what we're actually going to do today is do a, perform a functional test on the ballast system for the SSRN Sea View, the 80 inch DeBoer hull I have that's undergoing the process of refit. Uh, this system employs what's known on Mike's Subworks as a <clears throat> displacement ballast system. Many of you who've built uh, the sub, the old Subtech Albacores in the past are familiar with this system. It uses um, a T-valve like this that is held vertically and has a um, three connections uh, out to the air out to sea and to the tank and it's actually just a, a simple check valve with two balls in it that uh, controls direction of the flow based on which direction the, the pump is is working and it's nice but you have to maintain uh, this in a vertical configuration for and you can hear them for these little ball valves to work properly. I like this system because it uses an electric pump to pump water in and out, but you won't see um, the uh, whale effect as, as the submarine fills up, as a ballast tank, I should say, fills up with water and the, the boat submerges. You're not gonna get that whale effect of water coming out the pipe because it's actually going out a secondary hose. And, and again, instead of using this particular T-valve, I use two check valves, okay? And if you look at the system here, at this end, uh, you have the opening at the top of the tank goes down to two, to a Y, then to the two check valves, which are in opposite directions, one going in, one going out. And on the other side, the low part of the tank, you have the actual reversible high flow water pump so uh, this unit lends itself well quite well to larger models because you have the space for for this plumbing um, and also because of the way i'm setting it up the two check valves as opposed to the t-valve is going to work better for me those parts are available from a mcmaster car and uh easy enough to get so very quickly, we're going to test it again. I've operated it a couple of times. It works fine. That's about a 2.2 quart uh, tank. I've used it in the past and this system in the past. Another nice thing about this system is that you can use a gas backup with it because um, unlike a gear pump, this paddle pump, which is very similar to a um, low-end uh, aquarium pump, will allow the uh, displaced water to flow by it when you uh, hit a charge of gas into the tank to bring it to the surface. Uh, the, ta the tank, the way the plumbing is done, the tank really acts like most ballast tanks, but acts as a bubble of air, provided you have the plumbing below the tank and below the water line within the tank when it's empty, so it doesn't siphon back into it. But it's a great system, I like it. Um, I, I tell you, um, Skip, he was a genius when he came up with this, and uh, again, I think it lends itself to large boats. So let's let's get it get it running right now. Right now, the tank is in the blown condition, as if the model was sitting on the surface. And I got my little um, power jig here, and we're going to now flood the tank. Um, it takes approximately. I did time it before, it takes approximately 30 seconds or so to flood the tank. Um, and I'm going to time it again, and let's see how this works. I'll call out the amperage draw too. It was quite a bit more than I suspected, but here we go. Let me get the timer ready, and let's go. And. Because I'm using, this is the FUBAR, my point, because I'm using um, a simple one directional uh, servo controller, I forgot to swap the Polari on the pump, so it's actually blowing the tank. Now the uh, 
polarity set up properly and hopefully we'll get to go this time but that's an actual live foobar okay murphy's law at its best but here we go we're gonna head now uh flood the tank and i'm not sure if you can see it but on the far tank out of the one check valve bubbles are coming out that would be hidden below the sail on the model I'm doing 11.5 amps right now. I'm surprised the fuse hasn't blown. Two point two liters. Eleven point seven amp draw, and there we go. That was forty-seven seconds to flood the tank. I picked the tank up. I can feel all the water in it. Now I'm going to reverse the polarity this time, and we'll see how long it takes to drain the tank. And again, I was maxing out about 11.7 amps. I actually, I, I find that strange because I have a 10 amp fuse here. Um, I'm gonna double check that, but I had a 10 amp fuse. I thought that would have blown. Because this tells me I want like, something like a 15 amp fuse to set between the tank and, um, and the model. All right, here we go. Let's, um, I reversed the polarity, so let's go ahead and surface the submarine. Okay, reset the timer. And go. Definitely hear difference in the pitch of voice. We're pulling 11.63 amps. Tanks coming up, and that's it. So we had about 21 seconds to uh, blow the tank. All right. So surfacing of this guy is going to be a lot quicker than diving it, and the tank is now in the fully blown condition. So. Very interesting. I'm noticing I made the uh, cover of the cylinder clear and I'm kind of not happy with the fact that all of a sudden I see some moisture on the inside. Not sure if that is um, a leak on the inside of the unit because I sealed them up pretty good. Um, this is the one of uh, Mike's units itself. Uh, from Mike Subworks and uh, as you can see this is an older one this is one I originally had in the sea view and uh, what I do is I use this piece of one and a quarter PVC I seal it the other end is cut and uh, have a piece of plexiglass bonded to that and over that I use a, a complete length of heat shrink tubing to seal it. So I know there's no water getting in from uh, what I did. So I'm just kind of curious if the seal on this thing is either broken or that's just um, some remaining humidity inside the motor. I ran this motor for a number of years and you can see that it did uh, was subjected to some corrosion. All right. Again, that was a functional test of the ballast tank of the 80-inch DeBoer Seaview. I'm happy with the way it went, and uh, we'll go from there. Have a great day. Hey, guys. Subed again. Um, I decided to go ahead and uh, try using an old Subtech uh, T-valve. And the reason why is I was a little concerned about the high amperage 
um, 10 uh, or 11.5 amps that we had uh, using the check valves. This is the check valve setup I had uh, from McMaster car and uh, I believe they were restricting the flow. We had uh, those flow times but I was drawing up to 11 and a half uh, amps. I think we were 21 seconds to blow the tank and 43 seconds to die. So uh, we're going to try this again, but I've changed the setup. I got the T-valve over here. Underneath comes um, the induction tube, which is off to the side here above the water line. There's a pump, of course, 12 volt power supply on uh, to my left over here. And uh, again, very simple. Let's just see how this um, works as compared to <coughs> Uh, the uh, McMaster car check valve. So I'm going to bring up the timer here, reset that, and uh, we're going to commence a dive. Power is good. Okay, 12.69 volts, and let's go. And she's flooding. 10 seconds. We're drawing 8.6 amps. 10.4 volts, 8.58 amps. And you can see that the T-valve is submerging and bubbling now. Oh, definitely, definitely um, a lot better. When that T-valve uh, uh, stops bubbling, we know we're in a fully flooded condition. A couple of trickles. We're about 45, 48, 50 seconds, Mark. All right. So right now we're, you can feel the tank. Yep, it's fully flooded sitting at the bottom of the test tank now switch polarity my drive unit here the power supply reset the timer again it was about 50 seconds say 45 to 50 seconds and polarity is reversed and uh <laughs> As we say in the trade, surface, surface, surface. Water's definitely coming out of the pump here. Going 10.3 amps. 10.4 amps. Now is the same amount of time. 21 seconds. So in conclusion, the T-valve offers less draw. Not much difference in uh, time to surface and dive. Again, this is a 2.2 quart um, ballast tank that took 45 to 50 seconds to submerge and 21 seconds to surface. The current drawer in this case with the t-valve was about 8.5 to um <clears throat> to dive and uh 10.5 um to surface so that's interesting so i think i'm gonna go with the t-valve even though you have to be more conscientious of um where you have it uh, located because it has to remain vertical as opposed to this which i was just uh mounted like this the these two check valves had mounted underneath the tank to save space and not have to worry about orientation again that was another quick test here i'm gonna splice it into the other video so you guys get a complete set of information but um i gotta tell you i'm very happy with it um, i'm happy with this system because um use a pump normally for a normal 
blow in a normal dive. Uh, well, of course, for the, for the dive. But for a normal blow, you use the pump. And in an emergency, you can have a gas backup with this. And it doesn't affect anything because it just blows the tank and the water will come out both locations, the pump and um, the T-valve. The only problem I got is the paddle pump. It's a paddle aquarium type pump. Um, is finding an alternate to that because uh, I always like having alternates as opposed to single source. But again, I'm very happy with it and uh, let's see what happens. Again, if I keep it all module, I can always replace that pump if I have to. All right, folks, I thought I'd take a moment just to show you the actual current drawer reading on the meter. Right now, the tank is in the uh, fully flooded condition as if the model was submerged. And we're going to now um, run the motor all up and pump her out. That's it. All right, so you've seen it. Uh, you've definitely seen it submerged surface, and now you've seen the current drawer. So um, I hope that was informative. I learned something. I'm learning that it draws a lot more current than I thought. I think I'm going to test the T valve. See if uh, maybe the reason I have that much current is because of the check valves from McMaster Car, and uh, I'll write up in a report or maybe show uh, show it again, and uh, we'll go on from there. Again, I'm I'm happy with this type of system; it seems to be functioning well. And um, as always, uh, submerge safely.